While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. You know why our people are fighting for equal rights? Do you know why? They've been taught wrong. They haven't been taught the truth of the Bible. That's what we're here to do. Give me that a second, Astros. Bring it out. Listen, I will further expound on how there is a separation between the nations. Right. And that nationhood is important. Regardless of what you've been taught, listen to the Bible. Learn from the Bible. Read. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. Bring it out. And after these. Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. You know about the history of Adam and Eve, right? We all come from Adam and Eve, correct? Every man, woman, and child walking and breathing on earth come from Adam and Eve, is that correct? Yes, okay, cool. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. The people also, the Israelites that the Lord has chosen, they come from Adam as well. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. The world was made for the Israelites' sake. That's, That's what the right. scripture is being saying. Is saying. Read. As for the other people. Now, we're not talking about Israel no more. We're talking about every other nation on the earth. Bring it out, Mark. Read. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Hey. They are what? That they are nothing. Who is nothing? in the eyes of God, according to this verse. I can't hear you. What did this verse just say? Bring it up. Just what the Bible said. The Bible said that the other nations, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they are somebody. But if you're not them, the Lord said that you are nothing. That's right. But be like what? But be like unto spittle. Oh, listen. Sister, you ever spit out your mouth before? You ever spit? Have you ever spit spittle out of your mouth? Yeah. Listen, this is what the comparison of the other nations are. The Lord said these nations are like spit. Do you care about spit that flies out of your mouth? No, you don't care about the spit. Just like the Lord don't care about the other nation. That's right. There's a difference in nations. That's right. You hear that, my brother? My brother. My brother, what's your name? My brother, what's your name? How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Ron. So, Ron, I was speaking to her. I forget her name. She didn't say her name. But we were talking about the nations. We were explaining how there's a difference between the chosen seed and the other nations. That there's a difference. Like the Lord, He cares about us. But it's funny because we don't care about each other. Right. We have to do something to break that cycle. So what we're doing to break that cycle is we've learned discipline. We've learned what God wants from us. Right. We've learned what true love actually looks like. Right. We learned that. Give me that Leviticus. Hold that. Go to Leviticus. We learned what true love looks like. What is love to you in your mind? What have you been taught what love is? Yo. To treat people with respect, to treat them the way they treat you. Where do we find that in the Bible? So, your religious leaders never taught you what love is according to the Bible? Are you a Bible believer? You go to the church? Alright, let's see what the church should have taught you what Bible is. I mean, what love is. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What's the opposite of love? Hate. The Bible said don't hate your brother. In any wise you should rebuke or correct your brother. That's right. So if I see you walking wrong, if I see you doing something wrong, us as brothers, in order to show love to you, we have to correct you. That's right. Let's get some more understanding of what that word love actually entails. Free. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. That's right. Rebuke your neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Who is your neighbor? Who is your neighbor? Let's learn and find out who your neighbor is. Bring it up. Read. Verse 18. 
Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Right. So if you listen closely, the Bible said the children of your people, look on this sign, these are the children of our father Israel. These are our people. He said, these are your neighbors. It's, your neighbor is not the man who put his foot on your neck for over 400 years. That's right. Your, your, your neighbor is not somebody who beat your four parents on the backside. Your neighbor is not the person who hung you up in trees and castrated you before the whole world to see. That's right. Your neighbor is not the man who continued to lay his knee on your neck for nine minutes and don't have any emotional care to get his ass off of you. That's not your neighbor. Your neighbor is your brother. That's right. As valid as some of our brothers and sisters treat each other in the neighborhoods, we was taught how to overcome that hate by correcting them. But since we don't correct them, that hatred continues and continues. They perpetuate stereotypes in the neighborhood. Snitches get stitches. So we got that feeling in our brain and we never go up to the drug dealer and tell him, hey, put them drugs down. Right. We never go to the shooter and tell him, hey, put the guns down. Right. We never go to the authorities and tell, hey, but I know such and such that happened. I know when it happened and I know where it happened. Why, why we don't do it? Because it happened to them. It didn't happen to us. Right. And when it starts to happen to us, then we wish somebody would do something. Right. When is this going to ever stop? Why did this happen? You know why it happened? Because you had prior knowledge of a situation and you didn't correct it. The Lord said, correct. That's what we are here to do today, correct. We're going to correct your wrongful teachings. We're going to correct your wrong understandings. And we're going to correct the Christian church for not bringing our people the true knowledge of God. That's right. Second John, verse 6. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. So what it, my brother, come here. What's your name? You, with the uh, purple shirt. Keith. Keith? Yeah. Keith, what's your nationality? I'm black and Jewish. Black and Jewish. Good. Real Jewish. What does that mean? My father was a Jew. My DNA and ancestry. And, and his Ancestry.com will tell me I'm Jewish. 46% Jewish. Where's Ancestry.com in the Bible? She's talking about my genetic Jews. Can you prove that you're genetically Jew? Absolutely. Through the scriptures, just like the Bible says. Can you prove you're a Jew according to the Bible? I can't prove I'm Jew. I can prove my genetics. Okay, let's go to the curses and prove. But I want you to listen to what that scripture just said. You're not listening. So what did that just say about love? I'm going to give you one moment, one moment. Let me deal with him because I asked the question and you wanted to jump to something else, but I want to stay on top. I don't want to go here and I don't want to go there. I don't want to confuse the people. That's what's the problem with our people. We've been confusing these churches for a long time, brother. And we have never been able to ask the preachers questions, have we? We just listen to what they say and just keep listening. Listen, what did the scripture just say love was? Was what you doing today when you went out to break the Lord's Sabbath to buy that for your woman? You think that's love? You think you have to hurry up and run away to go to your woman and give her something that you defiled the Sabbath to do. You understand today is the Sabbath day? Do you understand how to keep the Sabbath holy? We're going to correct you and teach you. But listen to this. What does this say? And this is love. This is love. I want you to understand what love is. That we walk after his commandment. That we go and break the Sabbath for our woman. That we walk after his commandments. You hear that? We got to walk after the commandments. Read. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. Listen. Listen. The Lord said, have no other gods before me. Right now, your woman is your God before the Lord. You know that? That's only because you haven't been taught that. And I want to correct that. I want to correct that in you so you don't put your woman before God anymore. Okay? We're not doing that anymore. It's time for the black man, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, black woman, Native Indian man, Native Indian woman, to stand up and listen to the words of God. That's right. Understand how to love. Read. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. the people of the land bring where? Or any vittles on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day. That's the seventh day of the week, correct? The Sabbath day. That's the last day of the week, my brother. The seventh day of the week. What is the seventh day? The seventh day of the week, right? Listen. Read. Any vittles 
on the seventh day to sell. So, in the language of, uh, it's an old Latin word is sabado. Sabado means seven. That translates roughly into Sabbath. So today is the Sabbath. Listen what the Lord said should not happen on the Sabbath day. Read. Yeah. That we would not buy it of them. We are not supposed to be buying fiddles on the Sabbath day. Yeah. A lot of our brothers and sisters didn't know that. Today you know. Now you know. Now you must do something to change. If you really love God, meaning if you really want to keep the commandments, you're going to change walking here forward. That's right. Read. That we would not bind of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we would that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. You hear that? Go back to Zechariah seven. I didn't finish my point in Zechariah seven. Do that and then go to Zechariah seven, because you have to know how to serve the Lord. Going to the store. And buying what you purchased today, that's not showing your woman love. You're actually perpetuating hatred towards her. You're actually showing her you don't have to reverence the Lord on this day. This is the Lord's holy day, the Sabbath. It is a sign between me and the Lord that there's a promise for us to have eternal rest. This is not our rest. Read. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not offend. You hear that? I'm not suffering sin upon you by teaching you not to buy and sell on the Sabbath. Now from here on out, my hands are clean because I've told you how to love God by one way of not selling and buying on the Sabbath. So from here on out, are you going to buy anything on Saturday? All praises. All praises. And you know what you got to do from here on forward? Give me Deuteronomy 10. Deuteronomy 10. This is what you have to do moving forward so that you continue to stay on the right path. Because there's a lot of things you don't know about the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? You know you're an Israelite, right? You know you're an Israelite. Right? My brother? My brother, do you know that you an Israelite? You didn't know that? Come here, let me show you something. Let me break it to you. Your woman can wait. Now, you said you didn't know that you an Israelite. We're going to prove not through modern science. Right. Because with modern science, you have to have the actual bloodline of this man right here, Israel. You have to have his DNA on file to say, you have a match to Father Israel. Right. Father Israel bones. His DNA is not on file. You cannot use Ancestry.com to trace your lineage. The Lord said with his infinite wisdom that you are going to be able to tell who you are in these last days through the word that he wrote. That is power. That is power. Do you understand that? I'm going to tell you nothing. I'm letting the Bible speak. The Bible said how you're going to tell who you are. Let's go to Deuteronomy 15 and read. If you don't, you break the law. Where's the temple? Where's the temple? Ain't no temple right now. Ready to be rebuilt later on. So you know what? That law don't apply. Keep up. That's why you're straight. The whole law applies. Thou should not hate thy brother in thy heart. Does that apply? It applies. So you just said the whole law don't apply. So I want you to be quiet right now so that I can teach the Bible. Let the Lord speak. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a son. These curses shall be upon you, you children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. For a what? For a son. For a what? For a son. These curses are going to be on you for a sign. My brother, look at Rainbow right now. Look at Rainbow. What's on top of it? That's an R, right? That R is a sign. What does that sign tell you? That sign tells you that you're at Rainbow. That's right. Right? Look at the sign of Ashley. What does that tell you? That you're on Ashley. These curses are going to tell you who the children of Israel are. Without question. No DNA test needed. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. For a couple of days. Forever. 
until 1948. And upon thy seed forever. You hear that? These curses are going to be upon you forever. Let's get one of these curses. Read. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. You hear that? Come here, my brother. Look at this sign right here. The scripture said you are going to serve your enemies. Do you love God or do you love your woman more? Read Zechariah 7 and 7. I'm not finished with that point. Because this proves exactly why I went to the scripture. Read. The book of Zechariah chapter 7 verse 7. Should ye not hear the words which the Lord have cried by the former prophets? We in the streets crying aloud. The words of the former prophets. We teaching you what God said. We teaching you thus said the Lord. Should you not hear it? Why art thou not hearing the words of God? Why run? We, when Jerusalem was inhabited and in, pro and in prosperity and the cities thereof round about her when men inhabited the south and the plain. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts saying, Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother and oppress not the widow nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. Oppress not the widow. Oppress not the fatherless. We are fatherless. Our wives are widows. Why? Jerusalem is widowed. Why? Because her children are not home. Her children are lost in the world without their God. We are orphans. We don't know what it is to be a child of our father. We think we niggas, we think we wetbacks, we think we spit, we think we gang. We think everybody that don't look like us is ops. Right. No, we are the children of God. That's right. That's we. Good. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother. Listen, read that again. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother. You are imagining evil against your brother. You ride down on whoever. They not from your block, they not from your hood, they not from your set, they not from your gang. What you do? You imagine evil against them. Right. They not from your rap, rap record label. What you do? You imagine evil against them. You set them up, you rob them. You kill them, you bang a woman. The Lord said, do not these things. Bring it out. Us committing these things have us in a negative state of mind, brother. We don't know who we are. We are here to teach you who you are. Come in the word of the Lord. Read. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. How do we imagine evil? Give me Ecclesiastes 7. How do we imagine evil, my brother? One way we imagine evil is we don't get rich off our brothers because we hate them by selling drugs to them. By constantly destroying the neighborhood. Giving drugs to these people who can't support that habit. How do you support your drug habit? You sell your most precious parts. You break into people's houses and you steal equipment. You steal from loved ones. How do you support your drug habit? Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29. Lo, this only have I found, that God have made men upright. Check this out. My no, this Come only on. have I found that God have made men upright, but they they have sought out many Man inventions. Helped. You hear that, my brother? My brother in a black shirt. Come here. What's your name? Come on, Mike. Mike. Hey, hey Mike. You know what we reading right here? You heard us in the distance. That's why you came over, right? Yeah. What did you hear? Yes, sir. Let them know, brother. We teaching our people who they are going to the Bible. That's right. We telling our people not to create inventions against their people. Right. One of the inventions that our people created is to reverse what God actually made. God made us upright, the scripture just said. Read it again. Hey, Mike, listen up. Read. Ecclesiastes 7.29. Lo, this only have I found that God have made man upright. He made us upright. He made us princes. He made us rulers of this earth. And you know what we call each other? We call each other niggas. We call each other gang. We 
gangbang against each other. We've created different inventions other than what is upright in the Lord's eyes. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.